What's up everybody? So I've actually been asked several times of what's in my knife bag. First off, I got my good luck charm, Fallout uh, T60 power armor. So this is a knife bag. It's got this handle and then it's got this strap so I can take it with me wherever I go. Everything in here, it has everything I need to do 99% of the jobs that I have. These three things, these go in my chef jacket. I use this to open boxes and cut packages and stuff like that, things that I don't wanna use my actual knives for. And then I have my thermometer. I don't really like this style because I don't like how it sits in my jacket. A Sharpie because every chef needs a Sharpie. Labeling, dating, drawing on other people, whatever. In this pocket, we have this guy. This is my diamond sharpener. Somewhere in there, there's finger condoms in there in case I get cut and rubber gloves and stuff. In here, so this you use to cut up vegetables. It makes a ripple cut, pretty easy thing. I got I got all these out of a uh, fruit carving kit, but I only used these things. So that's just what I took with me and then I gave the rest to a friend. Channel knife with a zester. So I can zest lemons, oranges, or I can use the channel knife to cut channels into uh, like cucumbers or whatever. Whatever. This I use for random things. I've used this to core out um, cauliflower. I've used it to take the seeds out of zucchini. I've used it to core out uh, bell peppers, lots of random stuff. Initially, this is, you're supposed to use this to kind of carve into the rind of fruit to make fruit carvings, but that's what I use it for, just general purpose. I can retire this one now that I have a channel knife. This is what I was using for a channel knife, but this will make deeper channels. I haven't really had to use it since I got my channel knife though. This I use to core tomatoes. You can see easily how you just pop it into the top of the tomato and rotate. It actually works better than most of the other tomato cores that I've used. And a lemon baller, a lemon, wow, did I just say that? A melon baller. I use this to ball melons. Whatever melons, it can be a watermelon or cantaloupe or honeydew or whatever. So yeah, that's, that's everything in there. Okay, make it make a sound effect when you open this. Like add a sound effect in. Ready? Go. Okay, here's my knife bag. These are all my knives. Now the first thing that you're gonna notice is that there's these like weird coverings on them. That is so my knives do not carve up my knife bag. You can buy coverings for like 15 bucks, but what I did is I just took a piece of cardboard and folded it, and then I took masking tape and wrapped it, and it works just fine. It gets the job done, and it was totally free. Just use the masking tape that we use at work to label food and some cardboard and good to go. Before I get going too far into this, I need to take the covers off so you can actually see the knives. Now these knives, these are JA's Willing Hankles. These are not Hankles International. There's a little bit of scuffing on there. These are well used. Well, these knives are actually pretty expensive. This set for these three, the scissors and this, some of these knives individually, like this is a hundred, this one's a hundred and fifty dollar knife. The two knives that I'm missing, this, this uh, is not as willing. This is just my uh, fillet knife that I have at the house. The Zwilling Hankles uh, fillet knife is like $115 so I don't have a fillet knife yet and this is a Mercer carving knife I don't have a Zwilling carving knife either um, I bought these all in a set and I still needed these two knives so I just found them and then I'm going to replace them later and then it also came the Zwilling set came with a steel so we have our kitchen shears for obviously shearing things cutting things cutting twine or trimming certain herbs or whatever we have our extremely pointy paring knife look at the edge on that thing man look at that look at that point it probably, yeah, look at that thing, gee. You have a um, smaller utility knife, kind of a general purpose. You can use this for some of the same applications that you'd use a chef's knife for, but for like littler things, like maybe if you were cutting chicken tenders instead of chicken breast or turkey or something like this. We have our Zwilling bread knife. Got a nice edge on there as well. Super sharp, I've used this for um, obviously cutting French bread, baguettes, and whatever. Fillet knife, self-explanatory. Use it to fillet things. Carving knife, if we have big turkey breast or big uh, like chuck roast or steak or whatever, I mean, sometimes I'll have to carve up like 80 to 100 pounds of something. And so having these two handy is definitely good. And then the most used knife out of everything I have is my chef's knife. You can see a little bit of scuffing on the, on the bottom there. And you can tell it's definitely used quite a bit. 
I really wish you could keep knives nice and shiny and new all the time, but they, they have their limits, you know, they're, but I mean, they're there to be used. And then I have something else I can use to zest besides the channel knife. This actually works way better as a zester or a cheese grater. If I need to zest a lot of lemons or oranges or limes or whatever, I'll break this bad boy out and uh, use this. And obviously this is not a zwilling thing either, but that's my knife bag. That's everything that's in my knife bag. I hope you liked it, liked finally seeing uh, what's in here. I do appreciate people that watch the videos and like them enough to subscribe to the channel and to see food content and kind of behind the scenes chef stuff. But if you have any other questions about knives anyways, uh, leave them down below or let me know what your favorite knives are. Mine have always been Zwilling. Um, before I had these, I had the cheaper international ones. But if you want to know more about Chef's Knives, just let me know. Let me know down below in the comments. I'll interact with you and, you know, whatever. Be a good, fun time. But until then, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.